In this video, we're going to take some time to introduce the curve editor in OpenVSP and demonstrate some of the uses and how to interact with the window whenever you bring it up. Now, you'll recognize this shape as our cross-section sandbox from earlier videos, but what we've done is we've taken this ellipse and this rounded rectangle and converted those to edit curve types. So if we open up this window, you'll see that rather than an ellipse, we have a cubic bezier that is accurately representing that shape. So within this plot window here, we can click and highlight these control points, and we can either come down in this table and manually change the location, or we can just click and drag the location of this. Now notice that as I manipulate this curve, the, workshop, the space over in the workspace isn't actually updating. The model isn't doing anything. But you can see the values in the boxes are all updating on the fly. Now if I were to let go, that tells the model that it's time to update and use these parameters that we've chosen. So you can drag this around as much as you want to change the shape of the curve without necessarily breaking into your model and having it update every time you tweak something, which is very handy. So you'll notice that as I'm clicking on these control points, what you're seeing is this highlighted row, and it tells you which of these values correspond to which point right here on the screen. So that helps you orient yourself. Under the General tab, you can create a new shape, either a circle, an ellipse, or a rectangle. And that's really just initializing one of the three spline types or curve types, either linear, spline, or cubic bezier, which you can convert between these different types as well. The scale cross-sections uh, box will give you access to your width and height and even your depth because with Edit Curve, you are now able to do three-dimensional cross-sections in OpenVSP. We'll cover that in a bit more detail later, but know that it's there. You can also split and add segments or points to your curves here, and you can delete those points. So you can go around and delete a selected point, or you can delete pick. So while you're looking at this, notice that you have access to some advanced parameters down here that will give you finer control. We'll cover those in more detail. But also know that in this plot, this is actually an interactive window. So you can zoom in and out, and you can pan, and you can even pick views. Like I said, you can do uh, three-dimensional views and three-dimensional controls. So if we drag this, notice that now we are shifting this curve kind of along the x-axis, but we're giving it some depth. If we come to the Display tab, you can see now that we can choose the line color. In this case, let's put it to, say, black or a really dark blue. We can change the point size, where you make them larger or smaller, and we can change the thickness of this line. And this is all based on the idea that you want to be able to see this uh, very easily on this background, but also that you can put images in this plot area and say, turn the grid on or off or hide the axes or the border. But with an image behind this cross section, you can place your points and change your strengths and tangencies in such a way to very accurately recreate any unique shape that you can think of or recreate a fuselage cross section from a known aircraft or put in your own clever design parameters. And we'll cover those in some examples later as well. So there are some OpenVSP workshop presentations that cover the edit curve GUI in greater detail and some of the best practices. And so I will provide some links to those. Uh, they're really great resources. I encourage you to go have a look at them. Um, but otherwise, we're going to have several videos that follow up on this very advanced topic. And so on that note, it's worth mentioning that users should only really be using edit curve if it's absolutely necessary for the purposes of your design. In most cases, an ellipse, a rounded rectangle, even a general fuse cross-section is going to be more applicable to your initial design needs than something as high-tech and in-depth as Edit Curve. But if you are interested in playing around with it, seeing what it can do, using it for fun, by all means, go on ahead. So hopefully this serves as a nice introduction to the topic, and we'll move on and give you more in-depth controls and more in-depth discussions of each topic as we go on.